Wait on a bridge for the side train, and welcome back today, guys. F1 2016 back on this Monday morning, man. I wanted to bring this back. I played this on Friday for the very first time, and it didn't go the greatest, man. You guys know I'm brand new to F1, and uh, you know it was it was a tough damn go. I had all the assists turned off. I ended up getting into the pro career, and uh, that is the hardest difficulty of the game, man. So it was a very tough go but today though I wanted to come back revisit this game and show you guys what I've learned off the weekend man I've been playing a little bit this weekend playing a little bit online and the game is crazy man I've been really enjoying it but the biggest thing though is the gloves I know what you think right now stop why the hell are you wearing gloves for a damn PlayStation 4 game well I'm gonna be honest man the force feedback is very very strong on this game man so strong actually that I had to get the gloves on because the inside of my thumbs were actually starting to hurt a little bit because of the force feedback. So I figured I'd throw on my damn mechanic gloves, man. I got them uh, for my birthday a while back and I just had them. They're not used or anything like that, so I'm not going to end up wearing out the wheel with grease. Shit, man, that was a terrible set of coins right there. Like I said, man, I'm still learning this game, but it is addicting, man. Oh, yeah, okay. It's addicting, man. It really is. And uh, I do want to hit up online for today, run some events, and show you guys the chaos and carnage that does come with it. But I've been really just trying to get my driving line down, get my damn gas down, and my braking. For the assist right now, I do have ABS turned off, and I also have traction on medium right now. It's not on off, because obviously, uh, you really need to have a gentle foot. We're going to try to take that inside. Oh my god, I got him. Holy shit, man, this game is intense, man. I definitely do respect all of the F1 content recreate. Oh, Jesus. I was about to say recreators for some reason, man. Content creators out there. I will leave a list of everybody that I do know in the comments that does F1 2016 content. So if you guys are not satisfied with just one video for me today, you guys can go and check out their thoughts and somebody that actually does watch F1. I think that would be a little bit better than somebody that likes to, you know, go sideways a little bit. But I do appreciate you guys coming around for some new games for today, man. I know I'm not supposed to take my hands off the wheel, but I can't get my hands to turn that much, man. Jesus, you know what I mean, man. Now, the biggest thing, though, I can downshift with the same hand as I upshift, but it is a very difficult thing. And if you're not taking these corners properly, um, yeah, I mean, I'm probably slowing down this entire pack. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get online and get some races going. Check our flag, man. Man's lucky I was going to take him out. Now, one of the big things that I do really enjoy about this game is the cutscenes. I've told you guys this before. So, another and fantastic victory for the Silver Look at this shit, Arrows. man. How come more racing games can't do Andrew this? Davidson, just what set them apart from the competition here? Well, I think the track conditions just really suited their car today. Wind, track temperature, you name it. These cars come alive when the tyres are just at the right temperature. So the more easily you can keep them there, the better your race tends to go. And that's exactly what That guy looks like happened. a boss right the there. That might so have been me. There are podium drivers today after that excellent race. They've excelled here as they so often do, and it's a well-deserved victory. Okay. Mercedes then are on top today. Damn, Lewis Hamilton. Man is a beast. Now, I actually tweeted out a photo earlier this week saying that F1 was coming to the channel on Monday. Um, I was not on that podium for that photo. I just wanted to take it because I really enjoyed the cutscene. Never really seen anything like this for a console game. So I was just kind of just shocked. You guys were saying, Slab Man, you on podium? Hell no, and man. This round Jesus. Of the world not yet, anyways. And holy shit, man. We have some lobbies here, man. Look at this. Oh my god. Hell yeah, man. This game is banging right now. And I'm not gonna go to... Ooh, in lobby. Germany. Let's go, man. The guy's got red bar. I don't give a shit right now. It's a big lobby, and that's all that matters. These intros get me hyped, man. I don't know what it is, but they get me hyped to play. But definitely, though, other motorsport-type games need to take note on Codemaster's level of detail in the cutscenes of the off-game. And that really rejuvenates the game and allows you to really have a refresh every single time that you're playing. It's not just on-road racing, you know what I'm saying? You get 
all the different diversities of the game, of the cutscenes, not seeing the track, you know, seeing everything else that goes on outside of the track or inside of the track as well too. So I definitely do appreciate that level of detail. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on the starting grid. Here we go, man. It's going to be insane. We're in last? Are you? Jesus, man, get out the way. Guys, stop. Oh, my. Thank God. Are you serious right now? Yeah, man, put that hand up right now. This is ridiculous. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am ready to go. Race number two, bandwidth analysis, complete voice communication will be restricted to the nearest called play for gameplay. Okay, man, I, that's fine, that's fine. I just want to race anyways, man. I don't even got the mic plugged in for this shit. But, I will tell you, though, I am looking to do an open lobby very soon on this game. So, if you guys do have this game, let me know down in the comments section. Would you be interested in doing an open lobby for a video, man? I think it'll be absolutely a lot of fun. I'll have the voice chat going. It'll be a blast, man. It's just as long as you guys can drive proper. That's all I'm saying, man. Keep it clean and keep it respectful, man. F1 2016, man. It sounds like a like an intro slogan or some shit, man. Oh, my God. But I'm ready to go, man. I'm pumped, especially after that damn last one. I got something to prove now, man. I changed up the colors of the car. We're looking good. And look at this damn starting grid. We are currently, what, fourth? Maybe even third, actually. I think we're third. Holy shit. Okay. Just gotta make sure, uh, you know, I'm good enough to hold it, man. That's the only thing. We are third on the podium. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Oh, I wanted to jump in so bad. Here we go. Look at this course, man. Holy shit, this is gonna be hell. Are you serious? I got it. I got it. Take that inside. Collision. You're saying I did that? I'm in first, though. Oh my god, I'm in first. I'm in first! Oh, let's go! Son of a bitch. That's a damn tight-ass corner. I don't know why my rotation is so high, man. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... Shit! Maybe I'm just coming into these corners way too damn hot. Here we go, here we go. I cannot believe this right now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm holding down first place here. And I'm leaving them, hopefully. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like the rotation is just way too high for some reason, man. It's never been this damn high before. But look at the back, man. Take care, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. I'm gonna get my first ever online win, man. But it's only first lap. I'm out here talking like I'm last lap in this shit. Okay, yep. Definitely uh, note to self take that corner a little bit damn slower. Oh, son of a bitch. Back to where I started. God damn it, man. Oh, yes! That wasn't me, man. That wasn't me. This guy's gonna think it's me back there. Alright. We got something to prove on this one. Here we go, here we go. It's a matter of just taking these nice and slow, man. I should have been in first gear. Is that just me? Is that rotation not supposed to be that high? I mean, if you guys have an F1 rim, let me know. I tried to turn it down before the start of this damn race, but it was no go. I mean, if I extend that wheel, I definitely get more range of motion. And it shouldn't be like that. I should just have left and right, and that's about it. Oh, we just contact. Oh, are you? What? All right, there's one thing I want to do, and I want to restart the wheel quickly to see if that's going to fix my problem. I don't know what it is, man, but I don't think it should be on 900 degrees for F1 2016. That's all I'm saying. I mean, you guys can see it. I have so much more range of motion, though, when I do have that going. So we're going to just try it again. We're going to see if I restart the wheel. Maybe, just maybe, it'll fix itself. We're just going to go to a time trial. I'm just going to run this. Australia. Sure, man. Why? Yeah. Look at this now. Now it's fine. Oh, Jesus, man. Why? Oh, my God. Both races, I'm running 900 degrees. Like, this should be it. This is it. Now it's capping out for me. Thank you. You know what? Screw this. 
I want to go back online, man. I want to kick some ass real quick. Man, I cannot believe that. I don't know if you guys have ever had that problem, but I knew there was something wrong, man. I mean, you don't run 900 degrees on rotation for F1. So I guess because I left the PlayStation on overnight, the wheel just didn't calibrate properly. So what I would recommend if you guys are using a wheel with F1, make sure the entire console has either closed the application before starting it again because that's essentially what I did the wheel was just already on and I just started it again so I guess it must have just thought that it was still on the 900 degrees normal setting it didn't calibrate to the game settings but it doesn't matter though man right now we have the proper settings and hopefully we can race a little bit better man that was really my only problem I mean that was a problem and a half I mean that's a big problem if you ask me but we're not gonna worry about that man we gotta worry about coming in first because we are very far back in this pack right now Look at that heat though, man. The heat coming off the back is insane. The attention to detail is impressive, man. But here we go. It's nerve-wracking right here. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god, I have so much more damn control right now. It's not even funny. Oh my god, yes. Yes. I don't know if you guys can hear the rumble, man. I just went over that strip real quick. Oh my god, so much easier. You wanna cut it? I'll cut it with you, man. I, I got you. Seventh place. Why am I ghosting? I got DRS? Nope. Come on, baby. Did I just pass that, man? I think I did. Come on! Trying to maximize that corner. I just could not get it. Oh, look at this guy, man. Get your ass out of here. Who does that man think he is right there? Oh, appreciate it. Oh, 360. Oh, my God. Top 10 drifts right there. I'm just kidding, man. But what a recovery we have just made. Unbelievable. Not too happy about crashing on that, but, I mean, it could have been a hell of a lot worse, man, it really could have, but you guys can see the force feedback at play, it is literally moving my hands back and forth, and it is a ride to hold this thing down, it really is, oh, jeez, yep, understeer on that one, a little bit more brake, very, very tight section, You guys can see that rear end just wanting to come with it and just pop right out. Okay. My favorite part about F1 has got to be coming through corners just absolutely ripping, man. And just feeling like a go-kart. Obviously, you guys know, you know, I play a lot of Forza. And obviously, we cannot be doing this on Forza. But I will tell you, though, I have a few videos planned this week with the wheel, this wheel, on Forza 6. Because I've never raced the F1 wheel on Forza. Yep, cool. Another another beautiful understeer. I'm sorry, man. Go for the pass. Go for it. You can take it if you can get it. Where is he? Oh, my God. I can't even see him. Oh. I'll take that inside, though. Appreciate it. What a damn battle. This is only lap two? That's a serious cut. I'm sorry. Here we go. Holy shit. This guy just came out on the track sideways almost. But I do like how they try to make you know the best of it. And they try to ghost you if they see something bad ahead. Because obviously... Uh, you know, they can just take out your entire damn car and then you're done for the entire race So, you know, it is frustrating, but I do appreciate how they are in making an attempt to at least allow you to go through the worst case But it's scary though, man. I mean shit guys coming back on the track You don't know if you're gonna be a ghost or not. At least I don't. Oh dear. Okay Jesus man, the speed coming through. We just put the flaps down as well. Love to see that front smoke, man, with the ABS locking up. Looks so dope. And a lot of you guys said that this game made some colossal improvements and just head over heels better than 2015. So, 
I'm pretty damn impressed, like I said. So, I mean, I haven't played 2015, but I can only imagine the improvements that were made to make this game what it is. Because it is a badass racing game. And definitely, I recommend this to any racer at all. Man. I mean, you got to respect each discipline for what it is. And I mean, to be honest, I hate people that say, you know, I don't watch this because I hate this racing or I hate that racing. It's all a form of racing, and I feel like everybody should respect each other's craft and just enjoy it for what it is. If you don't like it, that's not a problem, but I feel like there shouldn't be anybody that's like, oh, I hate F1 or I hate NASCAR or, you know, shit like that, because obviously these people are putting in their blood, sweat, and tears to make this happen, and I mean, just respect it is all I'm saying, man. Respect gets further than hate. I mean, it's pretty obvious, but you know what I'm saying, man. Here we go, man. We gotta get back in the seventh. We gotta focus, man. Oh. Not like that, though. I do apologize for my shitty lines. Yeah, we're just gonna drift that. And, I mean, I know we have the driving line on, and it should be easy, but it's not an easy thing to do, taking these corners at 170 miles an hour and staying completely straight. It is very tough. But... I will learn it though, man. Oh, yeah, we're locking up. I'm so sorry, bro. Oh my god. I wish I had a handbrake button though. I would have yanked it right there. <laughs> this guy's probably rattled back there, man. My bad, bro. I didn't mean to. DRS, let's go. Oh, I feel like I got nitrous. Oh, I took this corner so bad. Maybe not. We're just down a second. There we go, there we go. I'm right here, buddy, right here, man. I wish I had a horn. Lay it on him. Oh, we're lucky, man. I locked him off the side and went into him. All right. He's either going to just leave me now or we're going to catch up to him. But I feel, though, the man's pretty good, so he may just leave us. Oh, look at this, man. I'm so much better. I'm just kidding. I'm really not. Oh, he's going to be so rattled. We just drifted into that. Yes, I know. Collision. Appreciate it. I didn't mean to, man. I didn't mean to. DRS. Let's go. Oh, my God. We're catching him. It's not even last. Oh, it is last lap. Oh my god, why am I in damn higher gears? Son of a bitch, man! Did not want to be in sixth gear on that corner. I accidentally went down rather than, or I went up rather than down. Yeah, we're all over the road now, man. I'm just trying to make do and catch up to him. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Here, man. I cannot believe I just did that. Last lap luck has struck again, man. If you guys are a fan of the channel from way back in the day, you guys know what I'm talking about. Son of a chip, man. Back to 10. They could have been worse, but that's what aggressive driving gets you, man. Kind of frowned upon in F1, so I do apologize for that. But um, I tried to do what I had to do, man. This is online, and it seems like it's a battleground, so I just... I, I don't know, man. It was just a... Reckless driving by my part, and I can take responsibility for that. I'm just glad that I did not take him out completely. But we finished the race in 10th, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm not mad about it, I'm not happy about it. It's just so. With that being said, that is going to do it for this episode of F1 2016. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. And if you would like to see more episodes done, like I said, don't forget to slap that like button, man. Show your support in the comment section down below, and as always, too, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, man. We are doing big things these next couple of months, and I hope you guys are going to come along for that ride. We got one point, man. We got one point for that session, 10th place, but we did improve where we started. But, I mean, we were we were up there, and uh, we were battling with this man right here. So, great racing. He was clean. I just was a little bit more aggressive than he was, and I ended up paying for it at the end of it, man. But, ladies and gentlemen, Chipotle Slap Trade. F1 2016, I'm out. Peace. Oh my god, what is going on everybody? It's your boy the Slab Train and welcome back.
talk, guys. Uh.